Such a cool song. Yeah, I played the musical for that once, uh, which is, I think it's just called Our House. And it was so much fun. Like, there's so much cheesy, honky sax, and it's great. Now, before you comment, I'm aware that I'm on an alto, and he was a tenor player. I have done One Step Beyond. If you haven't checked it out, it'll be popping up above my head. I have done One Step Beyond on the tenor. It just worked out that today I needed the alto for a gig. I'm on the run. I'm going straight off after this, so it was on, it's on alto. We'll put the notes for both, okay? It's actually really tricky on tenor, so if you've got both horns, you might want to do it on alto anyway, because it goes up into the gods on the tenor. You can hear how high that was. Okay, so, banging solo. Like, we've got to learn it. It must be love on alto. Hi, by the way. I'm Ches, for those of you who are checking me out for the first time. Uh, where does it start? So, we're kind of, I mean, I'm C sharp minor. Yeah, so we're in sort of C sharp, C sharp minor, which is awkward. So that must be been on the tenor that we're in F sharp minor. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> Not convenient, but whatever. We'll learn the notes in the original pitch, and you can play along with the sax player on the track. So it starts on the G sharp, and we have a kind of bend on that G sharp. Yeah, I, I was moving around, my ear's taking me a whole pitch below, so I'm moving around and using the F sharp in there as well. So I'm kind of doing F sharp, G sharp, G sharp, da da da, F sharp, G sharp, F. Sorry, it's terrible tone quality, but yeah, you get the gist. Um, next section. I don't think I actually put an extra note in there that I don't think he does, so we'll do what he does exactly. Um, B, 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 C sharp, C sharp, B. Now you can hear me, there's a couple of techniques in here that really make it. Um, one is bending, so if you haven't watched my video on that already. Uh, Really, really important to get that in the technique. Uh, the other one is vibrato. I think anything really high and shrill on the sax just needs vibrato. That's the general wobbling of the note. Uh, without it, it sounds a bit like, God, this is gonna sound awful. Um, which instantly sounds a little bit more amateurish, doesn't it? Vibrato, unfortunately, is a slow process to learn, and my video on it is a bit psychedelic. There was something weird going on with the lighting at the time, so I should really redo it at some point. If you desperately want me to redo that video, if you've watched it a few times and you're using it as a practice technique, let me know, and I will get around to it. So give me a comment. In general, love comments, so do, do give me some chat. The last little technique that is uh, almost iconic of this player is the growl. Can you hear that? Arr! Tina Turner style, like, or I don't know. I can't dance. I can't walk. I don't know why I thought of that particularly, but that growl in the sound is so iconic for him. So if you haven't had a go at my growling video, do. If you've had a go, failed, got frustrated, thrown the sack out the window, go get it. Bring it back. If it still works, have another go. It took me ages to get growling. It didn't just happen overnight. I think in that video, I'm maybe a little bit blase because I know a few people have got frustrated. So don't get frustrated. It's not worth it. Uh, let's move on to the next session. Oh, the next session is technically on guitar. <laughs> it's
in uh, in the in the original, but we'll play it anyway. <laughs> So just little bends on a C sharp minor arpeggio going downwards. So we've got C sharp, C sharp, G sharp, G sharp, E, E. But I'm putting a bend. Instead of re-sounding the note, I'm just bending. And then the last bit, up in the gods. Chair Satch Friend Antics channel, uh, you may think this fingering is a little bit odd. This is the front E rather than the palm keys. And um, it's one of my chessisms. I'm quite funny about it. I do really like the front E. I think it's just a nicer sound. I'll show you the two. I think it's a bit rounder. So I've just become accustomed to it. Again, I've done a video on some of my top tones. Uh, so I'll link to that. But you may also, if you're trying this on tenor, uh, you've gone up to something like Super A then. Yeah, you've gone right up to the A. Uh, I mean, that's high. <laughs> that's an altissimo right there. Uh, so you might want to check out my video on altissimos. I've also done a video on harmonics, which helps you kind of prepare and learn how to do altissimos. Uh, so I highly recommend you check out that video too. Cool, that's all for now, folks. Thanks so much for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. It means so much to me. And do give me some chat and some other suggestions on what you'd love me to do a video on. If you don't already, follow some of my social media stuff. Instagram, I post on a lot. Twitter, I tend to put down my thoughts, things that are annoying me, things that I think are wonderful. And uh, you can check out where I am in the world. I'm, I'm often abroad and here, there and everywhere and uh, playing in some cool venues in London. So you can see some of the pictures from that. Until next time, I suppose, peace out. Must be love, love, love. Do -do. So I am serious about this subscribing thing. Hit the button, do it. Do it or I'll drop you back. I will, I will, I'll do it, I'll do it. I'll... Thank <laughs> you.